Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is where I teach you how to design responsive and professional websites using WordPress. Today I'm going to teach you how to design a blog or a magazine website using only free resources. The website is going to look like this. This is the home page of the website. This is my logo. The website is looking very professional. This is the footer of the website. This website is responsive on all devices. This is the PC version. This is the tablet version. And this is the mobile version. Please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to my channel to receive useful videos. All the resources that I have used to design this website will be given to you for free. So go to the description of this video, click on the link and it will bring you here. Click on download to download the file. Click on save to save the file. Click on show in folder. So we are now going to extract the zipped file. Right click on it and click on extract here. Open the folder and these are all the resources that I have used. We have the entertainment images. We have the logos and the other files. So we are done downloading the file, so I'm going to close it. So let us go to the back end of the website that we are about to design. So this is the dashboard of the website that we are going to design. So let us look at the front end of this website. Hover on my blog and click on visit sites. This is how the front end is looking like. It is looking very bad, but at the end of the video, it is going to look like this. Let me close this thing. Go to the back of the websites so the first thing we are going to do is to install our free theme so hover on appearance and click on themes so what are themes themes give look and feel to your websites okay so what we are going to do is to click on add new So we are now going to search for our theme. So click on search theme and type news card. This is the free theme that we are going to use. Hover on it and click on install. Click on activate. We are not going to use any demo content, okay? So Click on cancel, 
cancel cancel because i'm going to teach you how to design this website from scratch so we will only use one theme so i'm going to delete this extra one so hover on this theme this 2022 theme click on theme details and click on delete So the next thing we are going to do is to hover on post and click on categories. So let us go to the sample websites. All the blocks or posts here are put into group score categories. This technology is a category, travel is a category, 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 music is a category, sports, category, the home, and then the news are pages, okay? So we have our main story category, trending stories category, we have our popular stories category, we have technology category, we have fashion category, we have sports, we have travel, we have music vibe, okay? And this post belongs to music category. Travel. So all the posts that we talk about traveling will go to travel category. So let me show you how this is done. So let's go to the back end of the websites. So our first category will be technology. So I'll write tech, scroll down and click on add new category. The next one will be travel. Scroll down, click on add new category. The next one will be health. So I am done writing my categories. So I have about nine categories here. I have my popular stories category. I have my trending category. I have my tech and I have all the categories here. So the next thing we are going to do is to start writing our first post. So to do that, click on add new. So let us go to the sample websites and I'm going to open one post and copy the contents, okay? So I'm going to write about this guy, last meet. So the title. So this is the title of the post. So this is my title. So I'm going to write my content here. So whatever content you have, write it here. Start typing, okay? So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. So I am assuming that this is my content. Click here and hit enter. Hit enter again. And click here. These are all the blocks that you can use. By the way, we are using Gutenberg block editor. Assuming you want to add a column, click on columns. We have two columns, you have three columns, you have one column, 50 by 50, so click here.
To add an element in the first column, click on this plus icon, search for, assuming I want to add an image, click here, upload the image. Then we can add a test here, so click here, choose paragraph. So let's go and copy a dummy test. Paste it. So you can go on and on and add your contents, okay? Assuming I am done adding my contents, scroll to the top and click on this. So we are under block. So the next thing we are going to do is to click on post, scroll down, you see category. So we are going to choose a category. So it will be under music so you can give some tags hit enter hit enter so the next thing we are going to do is to add a featured image so this is a featured image okay Click on set featured image. Click on publish and click on publish again. So we are done writing our first blog again. Okay? So let us add our second blog. To add our second blog, you hover on post and click on add new. Add your title. So I'm going to go here. So this one I'm going to write about Judy K. So I'm going to copy the title. Paste the title here. Then I'll write my contents. I'm going to copy this content and paste the content here. Assuming I'm done writing the content, click on post. So we shall choose our categories first. So come here, UDK will be under music. The tag, you can write her name, Judy K. You can write gospel music. You can write music. You can write Nigerian. You can add as many tags you want, okay? So let us set our featured image. Click on upload files. Select files. Then you choose this image. Click on set featured image. It is set. So what we are going to do is to hit on publish and publish. So I'm going to pause the video and write all the blogs, okay? So I am done writing all my blogs and I have um, succeeded putting them in their uh, various categories. So the next thing I'm going to do is to, to click on all posts. And these are all my posts, okay? About 27 posts. So the next thing we are going to do is to create our pages. So as I have said, 
this is a page the home is a page the news this is so this is also a page so we are going to create these pages to do that hover on pages and click on all pages these are sample pages that come with wordpress so i'm going to delete them select all and click on move to trash click on apply so we are going to create our first page called home so click on add new give it a title called home go to the right hand side and under templates choose front page templates and click on publish click on publish again we are going to add another page called blog or news so to do that click on add new you can write blogs or you can write whatever so i'll write news i will not do anything click on publish so let us go to the front page of this website and check how the website is looking so click here to refresh the page to see the change it is looking better so let us improve on it okay so go back to the dashboard and the next thing we are going to do is to hover on settings and click on general so when we hover on the sample website you see the name the name of the website can you see that news house dash the largest news portal in ghana so they are coming from here the site title and then the tagline so i'm going to do the same thing here so i'm going to write news house the description will be the largest news portal in Ghana make sure you put your professional email here click on save changes the next thing we are going to do is to hover on settings and click on reading click on a static page so click here and make sure that the home page you select the real home page and then the post page you select your news page for search engine visibility i will discourage it because i don't want this website to appear on any of the search engines like google bing or yahoo okay so i'll discourage it click on save changes Hover on settings again and click on permalinks. Permalinks talk about the structure of your URL. Okay. So the one we are going to choose is post name. So choose post name. Okay. And click on save changes. The next thing we are going to do is to create our menus. Okay. So when you go to the website that we are creating, the categories are not here like these ones so we are going to put our categories here okay so to do that hover on appearance and click on menus give a name to your menu so i'm going to name it main menu click on create menu under pages i'm going to select my home and news page click on add to menu 
we want to add our categories to our menu okay so click on categories select the needed one okay so i need the fashion health i will not add the main i will add music i will add sports i will add technology i will add travel i will not add trending and on categorize okay these ones technology travel health fashion and music sports okay so after after selecting them click on add to menu so you can rearrange them now the home is here then i will bring technology travel health I want fashion, I want music, I want sports. Then the last one is news, okay? So we are done arranging our menu items. Scroll down and pick primary, okay? Because we want the things to appear here. So this is the primary menu, okay? So make sure you select primary, otherwise it will not appear over there. Okay, and click on save menu. Refresh the page. They are here. So the next thing we are going to do is to add these links. Okay. So go to the back end to do that we are going to create a new menu so click on create a new menu give it a name so i'll write top menu click on create menu so for that we are going to use custom links okay so click on it so the first one we are going to write is Facebook. So under link test, write Facebook. Add your link over here, okay? I'll add hash. Click on add. The next thing we are going to write is I'll add YouTube. Add your link over here. Add your link over there. So make sure you select top bar menu and click on save menu. Go to the front end and refresh the page. They are here. Perfect. Go to the back end so the next thing we are going to do is to hover on appearance and click on customize so we are going to set our logo here to do that click on site identity so this is our site title and then the description tagline so we are going to turn it off because we are going to upload our logo it's gone so to upload our logo click on select logo upload your logo go to the file that you have downloaded open the folder you see logo i'll be using the red one skip cropping it is here looking very nice so this small thing here is called site icon okay so our own is looking like this so we are going to change it so scroll down you will see site icon click on select site icon upload it go back to the 
folder, you see set icon, blue the red one. Click on skip cropping. And it is there, looking very good. Click on publish. The next thing we are going to deal with is to work on our footer. So to do that, go back. Scroll down, you see widgets. Click on widgets. And you see footer 1, footer 2, footer 3, and footer 4. Okay. Let's go to the dummy websites or the sample websites. Scroll down. This is the first column called footer 1. This is the second column called footer 2, footer 3, and footer 4. Okay, so let's get to the back end of the website. So we are going to work on footer one. So click on footer column one. Click on got it. You will see something like this. So what we are going to do is click here and search for rigid group. So we are going to use rigid group. So click on rigid group. So inside the rigid group, click on add a block again and add paragraph. Okay. So what we are going to do is to go to the sample website and copy our test. Go back and paste it here. So for the title, write about and click on publish. Go to the front end and refresh the page. It is looking good. Go to the back end. Go back and pick footer column 2. Open the sample websites. We are going to add a gallery. Go to the back end, click here, and search for rigid group. Inside a rigid group, search for gallery. So the title will be gallery. We are going to upload images, okay? So click on library and choose existing images. So I'm going to choose the images randomly. Click on create a new gallery. Click on insert gallery. So I want my galleries to be nine, but I'm having eight. So to add one, you click on add, click on open media, library and add this one the images are now nine click on upload gallery and click on publish go to the front end and refresh the page it is looking good go back so you click on back, go to footer column three. This one we are going to add our categories. So I'm going to copy the headings, search for widgets group.
search for category. Give it a title and click on publish. Refresh the page. Perfect. The last column, you are going to add recent posts. Copy. Go back to the back end. Go back and choose column 4. Click on add blog, search for rigid group, add, type here recent, choose th recent post, don't choose this latest post, okay? And type the title here. We are going to display only three posts, okay? So choose three. Click on publish. Go to the front end of the website and refresh the page. I could see something here. So let us fix it. This red thing here, let us fix it, okay? So go to the back end, click on the So what we are going to do is that we are going to type we are going to type the the title here, okay? Type it here, recent post. Click here and delete this title over right here. Click on publish. Refresh the page. It is gone. It's looking good now. So the next thing we are going to do is to change our copyright test, okay? We don't want team by team host, okay? But because we are using the free version of this theme, there is no way you can go to the customer and change it unless we use some code, okay? So go to the folder I have given you. You see this code, footer HTML, open it and copy this code okay so go to the back end of the website click on cancel here so what we are going to do is to hover on appearance and click on theme file editor they'll give you warning that hey don't mess up with this code here okay click i understand so what we are going to do is to come here and click on footer.php so you can see it here theme footer and under it you see footer.php click on it Please do what I am about to do, okay? Don't mess up with any code over here. Otherwise, it will break the website, okay? So, scroll down. So, when you come here, actually, you can see it. It is under 132 okay so you see echo so this php language it means that you are calling the variable this variable so what we are going to do is to add two slashes so slash slash 
So the color has changed to orange. This means that this code here has changed to a comment. So it will not work. So let us click on update file. And if you take a look at these, you see that it will, this one will vanish. Okay, it will vanish. So open the file again and copy this code. Footer HTML. Okay, so go back to the websites. And what we are going to do is to come here to the end of this code and hit enter at least two times or three times and paste the code let me align it here very well okay so i will click here So I only put this div class and I call the site title, okay? So what will happen is I to go and call the site title, news house. In the paragraph, I put all right reserved, okay? Then I end it with div because I started with div. I ended with div, okay? So click on update file. It is saved so go to the front and refresh the page it is looking very perfect everything is working okay so the next thing we are going to do is to go to the back end and click on customize again So when you click on a post right now, we have a problem with this post because we have we have set the the featured image, but the featured image is not showing. Okay, so we are going to fix that. So to do that, scroll down and pick news card setting. So show featured image in post single. So click on that. The issue is fixed. Okay. We can now see the featured image. Click on publish. And click here home. We are now going to organize our home page to look like this so go to the back end and go back if you take critical look at our website now this first section is called banner this second section is called header featured posts this third section is called footer featured posts i will explain it later so in this middle here we'll put the rest of the body okay let me show you how it works so to deal with this banner section scroll down you see banner click on it we have banner settings so click on it so this banner show on home page only show on both home page and post page okay so i can decide to to show on only home page so you can choose this one okay go back this one is the featured slider this one is the featured post one and this one is the featured post two okay so
So let us deal with this one first. Featured slider. Currently, it is displaying latest post, but I want to choose a category. So I'll choose here, show post from categories. And I'm going to choose the category for this, which is main stories. Perfect. You can write any title, okay? But I will leave it to main story. Go back and choose featured post one. For featured post one, I don't want I don't want it, so I'll hide it. But you can leave it, okay? Go back. For featured post two, it is displaying current post. I don't like it to choose show post from categories and i'm going to choose health so when you go here it's looking the same as this click on publish so we are done with the banner section okay so go back go back so as i have explained we are going to deal with the header featured posts so come here and search for header featured post you can turn it off you can hide it okay so for me i'm going to click on here show from category so if i go to the dummy or sample website I'm using spots okay so from the category I will choose spots for the settings show on home page only show on both home page and post page I will leave it for the title you can write any anything here Click on publish, go back, scroll down. This is footer featured post. You click here, footer featured post. Choose category. I will put music and I'll write here music vibe. Click on publish. We are done with it. So go to the sample websites and scroll down. You see the body. We have the technology. We have fashion. Okay. So let's start with them. So go to the back end of the websites. So to do that, to click on widgets so then you click on front page content selection so we are going to add the technology first okay so click here and search for vertical or horizontal post so click on it We are going to give a title called technology. Okay, so we are going to choose from the category called technology tech. Click on publish. It is here. It is not aligning properly because we have not added the sidebar. Okay, scroll down and click on add. Search for another element called card. TH card. So we are going to choose fashion. Okay. Copy it. Go back and click fashion. 
show category and choose fashion. Refresh the page. It is here. So let us add another block. Click on this plus and search for vertical again. This time we are going to use horizontal. So we tick here and we are going to, for the title, we will write sports. And for the category, select show post category and choose from this category called sports. Click on publish and refresh the page. looking good so you can see the difference between horizontal style and then the vertical style for vertical style we have the featured image of a post then the description okay for the horizontal we have it featured image then the description okay and then the rest of the post the next thing we are going to write is travel okay so i'll copy the text So I'm going to click on add and write vertical again, vertical, because it, it is a vertical, I will not select here, click on show and the title will be travel and I will choose travel, click on publish. It is looking good so we are done with the body so the next thing we are going to do is to add our right sidebar which is this one recent post so to do that go to the back end and go back you see under widgets you see you see right sidebar don't choose this one choose front page because we are dealing with front page content okay so choose front page sidebar click here and search for recent so you see th recent post don't choose the latest post okay give it a title of recent post so I'm going to display about four click on publish go to the front end and refresh the page perfect It is now looking good so we are set and done with the home page okay it is looking very very good but we have something to fix over here in the dummy or sample website the home page the color here is red okay but for the current one that we are developing the color here is still black okay but as i have said because we are using the free version of the theme we can't change the color okay but if you purchase the, the pro version you'll be able to do that so what we are going to do is that we are going to use css code to change the color so to do that go to the file i have given you you see css file red color open it copy the code here go to the back end of the website go to customize go back 
here and go to additional CSS. Click on close and paste the code here. We can delete this piece. So you can change the color over here. Okay. So let me explain the code to you. So we are picking the background color and we want it to be this red color. So I want the color here of these icons or this text to be white, okay? So that is the meaning of this code. Click on publish, it's looking perfect. So we are done with the home page. Whenever I click on a post on the sample websites, you see these recent posts, search and category. It's looking very good. But when I go to the website that we are creating and I open a post like this, see, we see the search, recent posts and comments. They are not looking good. We want it to look like this. Okay. So to do that, go to the back end and click on cancel to go to the dashboard. So what we are going to do is to hover on appearance and click on widgets. cancel here we are going to work on the right sidebar because it is at the right hand side of the post so it is looking like this but we are going to work on it so that it looks like this so open this and the first thing we are going to do is to for this we'll leave it the search bar will leave it we are going to delete this recent post This recent comments, we are going to delete it. So I'm going to add this, okay? So to add this, I've shown you the trick already here. We will add a rigid group okay so let's do the same thing here so search for rigid group so click on it so inside it we are going to add recent posts so search for recent this one so come here and the title should be recent posts recent post okay and click on the post and i want it to display four okay perfect click on publish and you can see how it's working first it was looking like this but when i refresh the page it will look like this perfect so we are going to add these categories so go there and click on this, add a block called widget group and then add category. Click here to add a title called categories. Click on publish. Refresh the page. It is looking good. You can go on and on and add whatever you want. Okay, so you can come here, add what we call widget group. So you can add calendar. Refresh the page, it will be there. 
looking very good okay so we are done with the sidebar so go to the home page we are done with this website okay everything is working good the website is looking very clean but the question is how can you change the color because we are using the free version of this theme you can't simply change the color unless you you buy or you purchase the pro version but i have got your back i wrote a code for you css code for you go to css section paste the code and everything will change let me show you how it works so go to the folder i have given you so you see green css file green color open it you see long code okay copy the code copy all the codes okay come here and hover on appearance and click on customize scroll to additional css I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to paste this code. It's looking very good. Let me explain the codes to you. So, so as I have explained, this means comments. So, and I have explained this to you already. Okay, the background of this, and then the test color which is white then the nav bar i'm talking about nav bar here the vertical line i'm talking about these lines okay so this is the color so you can change it you can change the size also okay you can change the color home post title so the title here you can see the title has changed so it is now good i added a font i added Look at this, what is happening over here. The font is 400. Okay, I have reduced the font size. I'm talking about this, this title, these badges. And then the badge color, the test color. Home badge header. So it's very simple to understand everything. The search bar, so the search bar over there. Okay. So this is how you change the thing. So let me publish it and just refresh the page beautiful so the next thing we are going to do is to change the the logo so go here go back go to site identity then you can change the logo We can change the site icon scroll and change click on change site icon it is here click on publish refresh the page So as you are done, the next thing we are going to do is to log out. So this is how our website is looking now. Very good, very nice, and it is very responsive. This is the end of the video. Please subscribe to my channel to receive useful videos.